Alright, what's up everyone? I'm back. So I'm gonna try to fight this stupid boss again. <sighs> okay, I'll admit, the first time I lost? Fine. It was even a little bit funny, I'll admit. But the second time I lost? That just pissed me off. You know what they say, third time's the charm, right? So now I'm going to go in there and fucking destroy this cunt. But let it be said that I absolutely hate one-on-one -on -one fights in this game. They kind of suck. Is this the place? Because when shit goes wrong, I can just blame it on my teammates. But when shit goes wrong in a one-on-one -on -one fight, plus in a one-on-one, -on -one, you have go. no one to back you up. Which is just shit. Fucking hate it. Oh my god, I, I'm really off to a shit start already. <laughs> it's pushing it way too much that time. I'll just back off. Shit, I might actually have to do the unthinkable and actually be smart about how I go about things. Which is not really my style. My style is more so I just go straight for the part where I start kicking someone's asshole. Damn it! I shouldn't have jumped backwards. I should have jumped to the side. It's totally my own fault. Oh shit, I forgot to... Man, I am blowing it. I am fucking blowing it. Not in the good way. I'm gonna actually have to be smart about this. Are you ready? No. What's hey, stop making clones of yourself, you fucking bitch. I don't like you. What the hell makes you think I'd like four of you if I didn't even like one of you? Mm, damn it. Fuck. Alright. Jumping around seems to work fairly well. I'm gonna keep doing that. What's this? Ah! Oh fuck, here we go. Oh shit! Okay, I, I need to watch it still. <clears throat> Might have more HP, but I still need to watch it. I like that jumping around thing, though. Seemed to work okay. Oh, shit. Yep, too slow there. Mm, you grab one of those. Back the fuck off. Are you ready? No. God damn it, what I tell you about making clones? I don't fucking like you. What the hell makes you think I like five of you? Again, I don't even like one of you. you fucking bitch! Holy shit. Get my fucking happy ass out of there! Okay, okay. No. Bad. No lightning. I don't like it. And I don't like you. <laughs> Fucking bitch. And about enough of you! <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I tried to jump back right away. It just wasn't fast enough. That's the thing about this game is that sometimes when you get in the middle of doing combos, you can't get out of them. Are you ready? Um, no. But thanks for giving me time to recharge. <laughs> Shit! And be really careful there. I don't want to get hit by multiple fireballs. That will be the end of me!
Ruby. I'm not careful. I'm actually having to use my brain <laughs> instead of just mindlessly killing shit like I'm used to. All right, that was a good hit I got in there. Gotta be careful with these clones. Are you ready? I'm just gonna back off and play it easy. She got me with that. Thought I was far enough away. How about this? What the fuck? I don't want to be anywhere near that. Are you ready? Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Shit! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck yeah! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Whew, that was a tough one. Jaster, you have passed your trial. So, this is my power. Now I shall reveal everything to you. About this village, me, and you, Jaster. 
Your very own story. Long ago, this was a peaceful and prosperous village. But one day it was stricken by a fatal disease. We tried everything to keep it contained. But before long, it had spread to everyone who lived in the village. Once infected, the victims would succumb within a matter of months. It became apparent that the village was in peril. I cared very much about the kind-hearted people living in this place. They were all like family to me. And so I decided to do everything I could in order to save them. I would use the mysterious power deep within me. Mysterious power? I had kept my power a secret all these years. If I used it, people would discover that I wasn't a normal human being. So I never told a soul. I stopped time here in this village. By stopping the flow of time, the disease could no longer progress, and those infected by it would not die. That's how the village came to live on forever. For tens of thousands of years. To keep my secret power safe, I took away the villagers' memories of me. Still, for some reason, they never forgot me completely. Johannesburg. Your name is Johanna, isn't it? Even with their memories taken away, the villagers still remember you and cherish you deep within their hearts. They named the village after you to show their gratitude. How do you have that kind of power? Who are you anyway? I am a unique being. I am a descendant of the Star King. The Star King? You mean, from the great legend? That's right. The legend of the Star King is no fairy tale. Long ago, the Star King ruled over the entire galaxy with his mighty powers. While he still lived, it was a peaceful place indeed. I am a direct descendant of the Great Star King. And his blood runs through your veins as well, Jaster. Huh? You are my son. My only son. You have inherited my blood and everything that goes with it. Wh what What do you mean? So you're my... Listen, Jaster. You've been given a great gift. And with it, a great responsibility. Use your power to bring hope to the people. I know you will be able to bring peace back into this universe. I must leave you now. The time has come for me to go back where I belong. I am so glad I was able to see you. Farewell, my child. No, wait! If you're my mother, there are so many things I want to ask you! Mom! just now, weren't we? It's gone. Were we dreaming? That was no dream. You again? What's going on here? What just happened? You awoke the power of the Star King. Completely. Now, my job here is done. Wait. You know something. Tell me, please. Very well. I guess it's time. Listen carefully, Jaster. Eighteen years ago, I became lost in this desert. No matter how far I walked, I saw nothing but sand. I walked on for days without food or water. Finally, my body gave out, and I collapsed on the sand. 
I thought that was it. I was done for. Then a woman appeared before me. She was nothing less than an angel. She carried me to a village and tended to my weakened body. She was a mysterious woman and beautiful too. Before long, I fell in love with her. I spent several months in that tranquil village, even after I had recovered. The time I spent with her, it was like a dream come true. Soon, she had new life within her. It was our child. I was overjoyed, but she was uncertain somehow. I asked her why, and she told me her story. The village's terrible hidden secret. The village where time stopped. Yes. Left behind in the flow of time, the village had never interacted with the outside world. She wanted to leave the village for the sake of our unborn child. She wanted to show our child the vast galaxy out there. So we decided to leave the village. And eventually our child was born. He was our greatest treasure. That's when we truly knew what it was to feel joy. But our joy didn't last long. Shortly after she gave birth, she fell ill and lost her life. She had contracted the same deadly illness as the other villagers. It was only because time had been stopped that she had gone on living. She was a strong woman. She must have seen it coming from the moment she decided to leave. She brought forth our child at the cost of her own life. The child's face bore her same birthmark. That child was you, Jaster. That's... not possible. But wait. That means... you're my... Yes, I am Mazel, your father. D Dad. I'm sorry I kept this from you, my son. But I had no choice. It was all to set you on the right path. On her deathbed, your mother told me. This child will bring peace to you and to this universe alike. I had no idea what she meant at the time. As the months and years passed, I came to notice you were no ordinary boy. You had powers, mighty powers. That's when I finally realized the great responsibility your mother had entrusted to me. I left you with my friend Raul and embarked on a journey. I knew Raul would raise you to be a fine young man. I traveled from planet to planet as Desert Claw. I traced the path of the Star King and pursued the secrets of his powers hidden in the past all to call forth the great powers that slumbered within you. The Star King ruled the galaxy after quelling a drawn-out interplanetary war. Now, the galaxy is in need of the Star King once more. Jaster, I know you will be able to use your powers justly. You're the only one 
who can put an end to this conflict. I understand. I don't know if I'm truly worthy to wield this power. But I'll try, Dad. I'll try. Jaster. I've told you everything I know. I don't know what awaits you in Eden. From here on, you'll have to see for yourself. My journey as Desert Claw ends here, too. I look forward to sharing my stories with you one day, my son. I've released the lock that was on the ruins. Use your key to open the path to Eden. Stay the course, Jaster. Dad. Well, damn, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> All right. There was a lot of shit to take in there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this one here. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.